What's up guys, my name is Flaming Ice, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. I suppose this is the only game I have really left in the dock you know, for me to play, because I just finished Whack and Danganronpa not that long ago. So I guess I'm going to have to need new game suggestions, as weird as that sounds. Alright, let's start with Dusty Dune Galaxy. Sunbaked Sandcastle. But yeah, you know, I did say that I was going to beat every Mario game before, uh, was it, before the summer ends this year? I said that four years ago, and I mean, I guess we're sort of close. There's only Mario Galaxy 2 in terms of legitimately lengthy games, and the rest are like old 80s, 90s era games that can be completed in like an hour if I was good. But see, that's the thing. I'm not that good at Mario, believe it or not. I know, I mean, if you've watched this series for long enough, you'd know that oh, pretty well. Yeah, let me cop this one up. Oh, shit. Dang. A soul for a soul. But yeah, especially these older games are way less forgiving than the, the newer era. And I know people complain about it, but honestly, I think accessibility is good game design. People claim, people claim that expanding your player base is a bad idea because it alienates the original fan bases who appreciated and had to grind for so long to understand how to do something. But in my opinion, that's on, that's on you for spending your time, you know, fucking studying fighting game frame data for like 30 hours every day. I mean, that's on you. The game developer has nothing to owe you. Come on, Shell. Alright, now why did they give me a shell here? Presumably to kill these guys. This poor fellow, I'm like, using him to kill all of his dead ancestors. That's fucked up. That doesn't even do anything. Okay then. I suppose we'll hit this big button with an arrow on it. Call it, call it a YouTube thumbnail. So I, I'm going for the clickbait, bro. What is that, Mario? What is that? Anyways, yeah, as I was saying, you know, like, people complain about, like, say, Smash Ultimate or Street Fighter V, for example, for making the frame data easier to understand, but I think that's a good idea. Like, for one, you don't own the game. The game's not even in your target demographic anymore. It's meant for, like, five-year-olds, not 20-year-old basement dwellers. And, you know, you can't be expecting little kids to to be memorizing frame-perfect input combos, you know? They just want to have fun, not spend their entire life dedicating themselves to understanding why Bowser has a 36 frame uh, side B. Oh, shit, there was one right there. Can't believe I missed that. Oh, dude, I'm being careless. Mad careless. Let's do that again. That's three. Okay, now we just need to find the last two. They wouldn't put them inside uh, inside of these uh, question blocks, would they? I don't think so. But, you know, you never know with these men. Here's the last one. Wow, that guy fortunately threw right there. Now, where would the last one be? And you know, I think all those those like 10 year olds who claim that oh now none of these games are as good as Melee or Street Fighter 3, for example, don't understand that you know, I, or I think that at least they don't understand the game's about having fun and not you know uh, trying to look cool. Because really, think about all the time you invest into this kind of thing. You could be spending that you know studying for school or something. And maybe, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, you know, I, maybe I just don't have the right frame of reference. That's like really hard to hit, wow. I guess you need the shell. Can you take a shell up with you? Actually, you probably don't need the shell, I feel like there's some cheese potential here. Oh, there's a dude conveniently right here. Didn't even notice that. Whoa. That was some cheeky strategy there, Mario. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? What is that? Somehow, I'm glad I didn't take damage from that. Which doesn't really make sense, but... Considering that the shell normally damages you, but okay. And there we go. 
You know, I've been receiving a lot of comments on some of my older videos about how I seem really pissed or angry in these videos, but you should understand that that's more an overreaction and not how I actually feel. I mean, it's a, it's a game. It's not even real. I don't actually get angry over these things. Nor do I understand people that do. Oh, wow, that just disappeared. Oh, whoops. That, okay, okay. Focus, focus. Oh, okay, I guess we're gonna have to wait some then. Is this dude just gonna chill underground now or something? There we go. Cheese that real nice, didn't take any damage, I think. Alright, let's let's continue. But yeah, as I was saying, uh it's just it's just played up for hypes. I mean sure I feel a little miffed when I get like unfairly damaged or or sent back to the earlier parts of the level, but you know, that's just to keep things entertaining, because you know, if I didn't and just kept my regular monotone voice, y'all would just complain that I'm being mad boring. I think part part of the rage is the appeal. Right? Isn't that why people watch like dashy games 24-7? So I mean, it's not like he's good at games, no offense or anything. It's just that he, he screams very loudly. That's why people used to watch PewDiePie in like 2014 when he started getting big too. What is the point of this? Oh, okay, I see. I'm actually being brain dead today. You gotta pick up the, the thing however you do that. Still don't understand that part. Can I knock it into orbit? Whoa, that's kind of sick. Will it still be there though? It is. Got him. There's some very interesting levels we got here. <sighs> okay, let's see what they got next. There's the star, that's always a good sign. Some jank gravity. Wow, I can really not pick up any star bits, huh? Like no, none? None? Okay, two. Two, three, four is the running count. Come on, Mario, I believe in you. Make those pipe jumps. You're zooming through the Middle East, we straight chilling. Oh, what is going on here? The Great Cave Offensive? Top the one up. You know, this reminds me of that one stage from Mario 3D World where the fuzzies come down and, like, yeet on you. Oh, shit, I'm gonna get clapped. What, what was that? How in the world are you supposed to get the one up and somehow keep it, too? Real question is, what's causing the sand level to rise here? Mario, please. Dude, why is he not liking to make this jump right now? Please, Mario, what the... Dude, this is like... These controls are abysmal, what the heck? Okay, please, Mario. Like, like he's not going in any correct direction. I think there's something wrong with my control stick. It's just not like... It's not moving correctly. I mean, that would also explain why I was dogging and brawl earlier. I was playing a bit of it for fun. And, you know, I wasn't really moving well. I think my controller's starting to get a bit old. Alright, I'm holding left right now, and it seems to sort of be working. The controls are a little weird, because like, Mario doesn't know exactly what plane he wants to be on right now. Yeah, I think we're chilling right now. Maybe it's the being upside down part that's just dogging him. Luigi? Question mark? Now that's the real reason I clicked on this level, because it gave me a Luigi prompt. You know I gotta support the homeboy. Alright, where are you Luigi buddy old pal? I only see some green cactus plants you might see at a Home Depot or something. Don't exactly know what's going on here. Alright, will Luigi be on the next planet? Why is he chilling in the middle of Iran? Who knows? Who knows, man? Maybe Luigi's a secretly an oil tycoon. I wouldn't put it past him. You've seen my man's making them shady deals with King Boo. And you know, they don't call him king for nothing. He's the king of Saud. It's true. Oh, was I supposed to go there? There we go. 
I think I'm supposed to talk to this guy. Hey, you. Yeah, you got- Oh, I should have been collecting star bits earlier. Well, how was I supposed to know I was supposed to cop this guy? 20. Okay, I think I could find 20 somehow. 11. 16. Now I just need to find a couple more. Or oh, these- there's these, like, rock things. Which may work. Doesn't seem like there's anything to destroy them with, though. Oh, six? That was some cheese. I did not know that was there. Gave me a bit of a spook, actually. Is there anything on this underside? Has to be some place I can cop some more star bits from. I'm thinking these things, but they don't seem to actually want to do anything. We have to waste a star bit to get these to open, so I don't even know. Coin! That's useless! Okay, well, maybe Luigi appears later in the level. Could be. Hey, there was something down there. You see that? There was something down there. Oh, I think it was an invincibility star. That might be what it was. It was! Yo, caught me some of these, bruh. Okay, hope wasn't lost. Finally, my revenge for them ending my career earlier. Well, that was nice. I, I Now I got double the amount I need. It's kind of poggers. Surprisingly, he only needed 20. Does that mean that he's going to become a smaller planet, though? Because he had less energy and matter to transform? Or does that mean he's going to be closer by? It does look a bit smaller. Or is he the, or is he the, what do you call it, the star of shooter thing, and not the actual planet? That wouldn't make sense, because he goes all the way out there, and for what? It don't make sense to me, dog. This better not just be like a DLC, that would be mad and okay, oh, we're getting mad trippy with the camera chains, aren't we? Change. Oh, oh, what is this, bruv, what is this? I'm not sure I like this. Oh, I'm supposed to be collecting those? Oh, wait a minute, I'm going in like a circle. I get it. Interesting, and we can't let anything block the path. You'd think that the hungry star bit Lumas would also have a vested interest in helping your boy out. But I guess not. And there's one here I guess I completely missed. Because, you know, they also want the universe to be saved, because, you know, presumably they want to continue existing. So I don't know why they wouldn't, like, sauce your boy like a discount, you know? You see, I got only 19. Surely you could just make, like, a cheaper-looking planet. Or if you have a star literally within you, why not just sacrifice yourself instead of, you know, eating yourself to death? It just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, camera, okay, okay. There has to be something up here. Like, like, is it just here to make you feel trippy? Bruh. <sighs> I'm hoping this will lead me to where I need to be going, but, you know, it's hard to tell with this game sometimes. Oh, the last one. I guess it did work out. That's Jugs. Now what's happening? A boss fight? Oh, sand just drains out, I guess. So you're telling me this had actually nothing to do with Luigi. This is just a complete waste. And there it is. Might as well just go fight Bowser at this point. I think the game is telling me you just need to move along. You don't got enough ideas for you to keep chilling here and playing the same stars over and over. Just do something new, please. And that was a very interesting level. Uh, the execution was a little questionable, but... Whoops. But, like, the actual level was not that bad in, in concept. I mean, I really am just out here working against my own interests. If I if I really wanted to be, you know, if I really wanted to be beating all the Mario games before summer, I should not be wasting my time playing these like levels that actually contribute nothing to my star goal. And you know, I don't play all the secret levels, so why bother playing all these levels? Because it's fun? I don't do fun here. That's a joke. That is a joke. The doing fun part, not the not doing fun part. Darkness on the horizon. Sounds very rooting, bro. Edgy. 
Who knew Mario games could get this edgy? I mean, this is a cartoon plumber, right? That dude's probably gonna tell me how this poison is grape soda. Actually, no, it looks more like an oil slick. BP was here, question mark? Seems like it. Yo, dry bonds, what's poppin', G? What's poppin'? Okay, this is some rather simple platforming. I don't want to speak too soon, but you know, like these two Goombas isn't really that much of a challenge, you know? See what I mean about games being a lot more fair nowadays? You don't got any, like, jank here. Oh, I should be up there, huh? You know what really bothers me about this game's gravity mechanics? It's that the controls are relative to the camera and not Mario. Like, for going, like, up here, I instinctively press right, right? Because that, that's what you think, because right because Mario is going right and you're telling him to go right. Oh, I'm stupid. Why did I do that? Please. Oh, I could have saved that, too. But see, like, here, you'd expect Mario to be heading left. But no, he's heading down, actually. So you hold down on the, on the control stick, which is what's messing me up right now. Because I, like, I think I like player-centric more. At least in my opinion, that makes more sense. Alright, let's get out of this gravity mess. Let's get on out of here. Like, of course it makes sense to have, like, what do you call it? Uh, Camera-centric controls when you're in 3D, but, you know, when you're in 2D, it just doesn't feel right. So I feel like that was a bit of an oversight on the part of the team here. Assuming I can't touch the blue parts. Don't want to even find out what that is. Oh no. They just ate him alive. Whoa. Wonder how Goombas feel about Bowser creating literal dark matter. Probably not good. But yeah, I think those are actual just holes in the ground. But it doesn't make sense because the if you look at the skybox, it's like dark purple. And this, on the other hand, is light blue. I think the intention they're going for here is yeah, this is like a hole in space and time or something. Yeah, see, it looks like that, but it doesn't match the skybox behind, so I don't know what's up with that. Cheese that, cop me the one up, ballin'. We make a left here. It's like we're navigating Ikea with all these jank gravity mechanics. Well, we should be definitely going on that. Like, it feels so wrong to be pressing down and jump and not ground pounding. You just head down. It's so weird. Alright, we're making some good progress. We're adding, subtracting, then multiply, as they say. Should be chilling like this. Wow, this is, this is quite slow, isn't it? I know how the more ADHD of Nintendo players deal with stuff like this. Oh, I should be on the other side. You just vaporized him. Dang, I thought he was getting drowned in the poison. But he's just getting atomized. What the heck? It really is dark matter, huh? Like, they even disabled crouching. Like, look, I can't crouch anymore. you think pressing right would make you crouch, but it just doesn't. There's no crouching anymore. Actually, no, never mind. There it is. I'm stupid. That's just me being dumb. Please, Mario. Please, please, please. Alright, there we go. Left. Wait, what do I do here? What, what do I do there, though? Do I just go on the opposite side or something? That one just broke my brain a little bit. <laughs> Bowser knew the Mario player's greatest weakness, having to use their brain to think. What? Oh, come on, bro. Come on. This is actually miserable. How slow it is and how like, one mistake sets you far back. Oh, I'm supposed to go on this. That's how it makes sense now. See, I just didn't see this whole block here. Is that a Goomba Cadet? Get out of here with that. You didn't earn your stripes like that. No chance. Questioning your service. Yeah, that's right. Your entire year spent dedicated to protecting Bowser's kingdom. All forgotten. You think he's giving you pension for veterans? No chance. You're just gonna get disrespected and spit on. It's true. It's just a sad reality. All right, Bowser, let's fight. Why don't you give your workers your better care? Where are their rights, Bowser, huh? Why are you such a greedy capitalist? 
Wow, it's you. That's it, Mario. I'm gonna stomp you into space bits. Ugh. Okay, stomp me into space bits, because I don't have any anymore. Oops. Oh, he's using that dark matter spin right there. Dude, my mans really won't jump on the blue sphere. Sucky's too smart. Man's probably put extra dark matter in his coffee. You know, it's better than creamer, I can tell you that. Oh, come on, Bowser. Just face me like a man. Where is he going? Oh, he just forgot about it, I guess. There's the fire. Whoops. I don't know what I was doing there. I was stupid. That's what that was. Come on, man. So now he has the ability to spin, too? Jump. There you go, Bowser. You monkey. Got him. I gotta hit him again, don't I, when he comes around. It's no, shit, I missed him. I missed him. It's the stupid green metal thing. Stop obstructing me, dog. Now he's molding. The screen went dark, even. Just dodge these. Oh, my man's doing the hokey pokey there. Oh, okay, I see you with the spins, Bowser. The side flips, he's copying my moves, bro. He's copying my moves. Alright, Bowser. You come this way right now. Got him. He's gonna come around this way. Got him. He's going to come... Oh, that's it. Huh. Oh, he's going full Darko mode. Whatever that means. He's, he's doing the hokey pokey in and out three times over. Okay. Okay. We can do that. We can, we can, we can play game, Bowser. Alright, right here. Oh, three spins. Nuts. Now he's running this way. Got him. He'll come down this way. What? Are you joking? He's gonna come around this way. Okay, and he comes this way. Got him. Easy every time. Is that it for Bowser? Man, what a weak villain. Whoa, not bad. I guess I chose the right guy to be my arch enemy. At least he always put up a fight. Yeah, not like that green guy. My master plan is almost complete. Tough luck, Mario. She's gonna dip on me like that. Not even gonna, gonna call it GG. Well, that was certainly a Bowser level and a half. A little, little uh, short, actually, when you think about it. I just spent a lot of time trying to figure out that one arrow puzzle with the gravity and now where does this take us do we get to access to rosalina's private chambers i can't wait to go to dildo galaxy i suppose now i should pose the question it's been on everyone's mind is rosalina luigi's daughter like matt pat says well my answer to that is no Obviously not. Like, what? you think, has anything MatPat ever, has ever said been correct that he didn't take from, like, Reddit or Twitter or whatever? I think all of his, almost all of his OG theories just, like, flop, especially when it comes to Mario. I mean, they don't confirm any of those theories, besides the ones, like, the generic ones you hear on every top 10 Mario things you never knew before. From Screen Rant or Screen Junkie or Screen Shit Down the Toilet or whatever. Should I just go feed this dickhead? He's just sitting here for no reason, so I might as well, right? I might as well. 800. That's like basically everything I have at this point. Alright, you better give me something good for this, bro. 800. 800. He transforms. The Big Mouth Galaxy. Yeah, no shit. There ever was a more obvious name. Here it is. Oh, I haven't heard of it. Big Mouth's Gold Bait. 
Yeah, it did sound like a gold bait. Like, he's just spelling it out for me. This thing was a whole one big massive grift. A gold bait, as they call it. An entrapment scheme. Hey, chill. Chill. Wait, couldn't I just do this? What do you have to say about this? This is my hideaway. It's the perfect spot for fishing and being left alone. Are you sure about that? There's like 25 crabs here. So much, I don't know if that's being left alone, but personally, I wouldn't consider that alone. I'm sure we'll probably find some other penguin here too. I like the music though, it's kind of heat. Poor Koop is scared of me, bro, he's scared. Booze? Yo, my second, actually no, my favorite enemy, period. Can't believe you're here. That's pretty nice. Mario, please. Booze underwater is one of my favorite aesthetics. And you know, if the underwater wasn't so ass to control, I'd really like this. So it's just something I really like about the combination of, of booze and this. I don't know what it is. Just something cool, I guess. I just gotta grab all those, I guess. Oh, they're making me go deep for this. Okay. Now, this is some undersea ocean levels of deep. Okay. I guess we're sort of making it there. I got the bottom of the ocean at this point. Okay, that's one. I saw one over here. Now I'm trying to hit this guy. Should I be using those twisters? I feel like they would kill me, but at the same time, they could also be like a fast travel way to get all the way down here. I mean, who knows? Okay, there's another one right here. Three. Where is the next one? That's the question. I'll ask it. Oh, there's one right here. I saw you. You're not hiding from me, Chief. Grab him. It's nice that he revives all of my uh, air bubbles here. Otherwise, I would have been dogging. That's something Sunshine would have done. Made you go up and down and up and down over and over again. And here's the last one. There we go. Right in the middle, huh? Can do. Can do. Come on, Mario. You, you can turn around. Just let the camera do it for you. And we're outy. Where does this take us? To the other side? The dark side of the ocean? This is like some like flat earth type shit. Hey! There's, there's the golden Koopa shell. Come on, Koopa shell. You know you want me. How do I get down from here? I guess that's how you do it, huh? Use gravity. That doesn't really make sense given I was able to stay up there. But, you know, I, I won't question it. There's the exit. I just gotta be... If I just don't hit the, the other parts of this wall here, I'll be safe. Ballin. There's a lot of boos here. More than I remember there being. They're not really dying to the, to the shell. Interestingly enough. And well, bam! There we go. Toad! That's not what I wanted. Man, that was close. Oh, Mario, I forgot to tell you something. I was trying to get a star, but I fell into this treasure chest. Let me tell you, it's even smaller than it looks. Anyways, here's the star I found in there. No, really, it's yours. Oh, okay, at least there was one star in there. I was about to get real annoyed. Put him back in the treasure chest, even. Take this power star. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Thanks for letting me, I guess. We'll call this an episode as soon as we look up, look up, literally, what's top of this observatory. We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope they're not misusing the power. Well, I mean, obviously they are. That's not surprising at all. You only got one of these grandmas in here too? That's epic. Dude, we could just beat the last level of this game right now. They, we, we could really just go, bam, and skip this entire world. Bowser Jr.'s Lava Wreck, but why would I do that, you know? Let's at least see what the, the next level is. Gold Leaf Galaxy. They might as well just unlock all of these. I mean, it's like it's like opening those uh, loot crates. Addictive. Sea Sly Galaxy. And Toy Time Galaxy. Interesting stuff. Should we save it for the next episode, though? I, I just don't know. I mean, I guess we should, right? There, There's usefulness in temperance, but... Gold Leaf Galaxy. 
You know what? The fact that I'm stalling here means I should probably just play another. We won't be- but the, see, the thing is, now I'm gonna be breaking the five-star pacing I've been going on for, like, the last couple episodes. Now it'll be a six-star pacing, which is fine, I guess, but, like, I don't know. Symmetry's always nice. Star bunnies on the hunt. This doesn't even sound that good of a level. Alright, dude, let's talk. Are we talking? I'm looking for blue starships with my brothers, but we haven't found any. So we're looking for blue star chips. Okay. So is that what they're called? Star chips. Probably around here somewhere. What do you have to say? Okay, so he's also looking. That, and that makes sense. He did say that his brothers did not know where they are. But, you know, you never know if they're capping. There's like one right here. That was really easy to find. I don't know how they did not find it. That dude has one right above him. How does he not see that? You good, my boy. You good. Probably some puzzle with these logs here. I guess they do lack the ability to ground pound. That gives me the next one. What do you have to say? I bet you anything you'll find blue starships around here. Yeah, no shit. It's like right above you, bruh. Isn't your whole thing supposed to be about jumping anyways? That's what I don't get. Probably one in here. Yup. Okay. What's this? Coin? Yep. Okay. Your boy is getting good at guessing what's in these things. You know, I have to say, as much as I like Miyamoto for making, you know, all the Mario games, of course, I do disagree with his design philosophy. I think it really helped this game back, where he believes that your story makes the game shit or something like that. That I mean, I do agree that fun should be the top priority, but there's funness in having an interesting story, right? Like, how many times can you recycle the same princess gets kidnapped by Bowser doing something dumb before it just gets boring, you know? And it's not fun anymore. So, so that's what really bothered me is that there was originally going to be a much deeper story for this game, and it's hinted in by the, the little chapter book fragments we get every now and then. But then Miyamoto told the director of this game, was it, actually I'm not gonna try to bother butchering his, butchering his name, the director of this game to like remove the story because that's not what a Mario game should have. But I mean, I think a Mario game, the Mario series is rife for like storytelling. Like you could make an, like a whole anti-monarchist story about like a Goomba revolution or maybe, like, Princess Peach is secretly evil or something, and, like, the Toads are enslaved by her. That would explain why she just randomly is a human while everyone else is a fungi. Because, you know, according to the original story, uh, Peach is endemic to the Mushroom Kingdom, but everyone else isn't. Like, Mario, Luigi, they, they ain't from there. They're from Brooklyn, bruh. Brooklyn. I want to stop on a stump. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. So that's just something that really bugged me. God, about how they're just they're just kind of throwing away Mario's potential to make like an interesting story. Cause I mean, sure, can you make a fun game? Like, of course, every Mario game is fun to some extent, except maybe Super Mario Land. That game's terrible. But stories are what makes things memorable. You know, like people still make video essays about their shows they liked as kids, but. You won't ever see a video essay about uh, Mario because there is nothing to, to talk about there. You know, stories are how we engender conversation, and communication, discussion about different ideas. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a deep story, just something unique, you know? Like, like is it that hard to come up with a new story? Like, I don't know, the Princess Peach was caught cheating with Luigi, and uh, now Mario is teamed up with Bowser to destroy the Mushroom Kingdom. And it's like a beat-em-up side-scroller. Is it over here, boyoing? There it is. Thanks, rabbit. Still don't understand how a rabbit on a bounce pad can't get that, though. Yep, there's something all the way over there. So I'm assuming I use this. And then... Okay, for some reason it just doesn't let you float when you do that. Maybe I can use this. Yup. Definitely. And now we're all the way over here. Pretty epic. What do you have to say? Where is the star? It's somewhere here, obviously. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna see if I can keep my B suit here. Okay. There we go! The exit. What do you have to say now? Are you still looking for the stars? Thanks! Now I can go home and return. Let me tell you a secret. That planet over there, my star brother has a planet. Has a power star, I mean. Can you catch him? Probably. You think pull stars have stopped me before? Then you're then you're absolutely right, actually. They definitely have. And get me out of here. Now we're making our way downtown to this planet. Think you can catch me, boy oink? Definitely. Alright, watch this pro gaming skill. I'm more interested in what this random question mark block is. Like, what? This is, this is an interesting planet. A lot of sandboxes here. So what I can do... Actually, he's not even that fast. Yeah, like, what was that, bro? He's just walking around. So much for complex level. I thought we were doing some that 10,000 IQ play. But that was kind of easy. <laughs> I guess he got stuck on a ledge or something. And that'll end off the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit thumbs up. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.